Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're going to be going live here in about 30 seconds. Stick around. Final Fantasy VI or III, however you want to say it. Coming up next. Looks like looks like it's game time everybody let's get into this shall we hey good evening everyone thanks for tuning in we are continuing our live stream here of Final Fantasy 3 6 depending on how you want to how you want to slice it I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to cause anybody to jump up and punch me in the nose, but, um, we're here and we left off last night. I think we were going for Strago, um, over in the tower, uh, Kefka's tower. Was that Kefka's tower? Shit. Where's our like trusty guides when you need them? Where's Dimitri? Where's Shadow Lady at? Let's see what the hell they're doing. So if you guys don't know, we, um... Tower for their shadow lady right there. What what? Um, so if you guys didn't know, I'm I'm starting later today because I had a fantastic interview with a with a a streamer. I think Johnny used to stream. I think if I understood it right, Johnny used to stream um himself doing antics. If, if I I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Long story short, I had an interview with a jet with a gentleman today, Johnny. Now I'm gonna go ahead and post his link up here. Um, super nice guy, and the way I got introduced to him is by a viewer on my channel, Arc Platinum, who watches me. Here, let's do this. <clears throat> Arc Platinum, who watches me, um, recommended that I. Uh, that rec. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Blah 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 blah. Um. Arc Platinum, who watches me stream, recommended to Johnny that you should interview Slap. He's an interesting guy, and he's got a... Um, God, this is laggy, isn't it? Why does it keep doing that? I'm watching this leg out. I, I don't know why. I don't know why it keeps hiccuping. There. Now, now it's working. Anyway... Yeah, I don't know what the frick is going on. I don't know. Maybe I should log out of Streamlabs and log back in. We'll have to figure that out. Anyway, Arc Platinum recommended that I to John that, hey, you should interview this guy. He's kind of an interesting dude, um, plays retro games, up-and-coming streamer. And so I did. And the interview today lasted, I felt like, damn near two hours. It was. I think it was supposed to be maybe an hour. I think there was a time limit. And we had technical difficulties at the beginning of it. And then we got that working. And then somebody ordered him food randomly <laughs> randomly during the interview. And then I took over on the interview, which was really funny. And then uh, we it was like it was like we were friends and haven't seen each other in years, and we had everything to spit at each other. And then of course I played a little bass for them and had a little cutout. Um, but it was a fantastic interview, and when that does come up. I will uh, post the link to everybody. It was good. I had, a, I had a good time. I had a fun time. It felt good to to talk to somebody, you know? Other than my wife and, and other people there. Oh, Connor. Connor, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for that sub. Where you been, man? It's It has been a long time. Look at you. You're at four. You got a three-month badge. You've been doing it for four months. Definitely important that you keep that rolling, and I appreciate it. I'm glad you were back. I'm glad you were back. So go check out Johnny. Uh, I just put his Twitch stream up there. I'll put it one more time to you. Right now he's sleeping. Hey, Thunderfoot. Good to see ya. I'm here. I had to do an interview today. And then um, that, la that ran like an extra hour. And then my wife made a little spaghetti. Had some spaghetti. And then, uh, yeah. 
The interview went fantastic. It was fun. I, I had a really good time. It was <laughs> middle, mini, uh, mini moose punch. Yeah, there you go. We're going to have to head to the Tower of Fanatics. Yes, I, I'm i playing. I'm just starting up, young daddy. So you're, you're good, my friend. You're good. You're good. Let's get into the game. Wonder why that keeps lagging out every time I switch streams. I got to figure that shit out. No, no, no spaghetti incidents. Even busy with work, preparing Christmas gifts. How's work going? At least I didn't have any root beer incidents like I did last night with frozen root beer. Let me tell you what, a two liter thing f full of frozen barks root beer, it feels like there's no end to the carbonation in there. I mean, it just came out like it was all over the place. Yeah, resolution settings, I'm not too sure. I think um, I run like four different cameras on my stream. Maybe I should cut those back. <laughs> that might be a big damn issue, right? Maybe if I just cut those cameras back, I might not have that issue anymore right all right nah right okay so to the tower of fanatics um let, let's get a quick check here i'm happy you didn't miss it this time either yeah we are just getting started we'll be streaming for a few hours here and um had a good day. That interview was fun. Like, I had a damn good time on that. I met some really amazing people. Um, some super nice people. I, I think they're they're really, yeah, they were pretty, pretty genuine people. Right. And, you know, in the interview today, we were discussing, with Johnny today, we were discussing the impacts of video game music on us that grew up with that stuff, you know? So I was, as I was saying, even to my wife afterwards, that when we listen to a song from a video game, it takes us back. Like, for example, Bubble Bobble takes me back to a restaurant called Granny's Kitchen in the town I used to live in. It's not Granny's anymore, but it takes me back to that time of playing that on the arcade, of hearing Bubble Bobble. I know that there's many games out there that do that to people, like GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Final Fantasy VI, Contra, Rygar, you know? All those things can teleport us. Other than, you know, I mean, obviously it's not, you know, the s smell is the strongest sense tied to memory, but music has that impact too. Maybe not as much as smell, but music has that impact. You know, I have uh, Zach Wild, for example, takes me back to summer. I like Zach Wild. We had no preset questions today. It was just answer them as we go and have fun. What are you talking about? There's a new Perfect Dark coming out. You shit me? Oh, that's all I need. So quick check here, Shadow Lady. We are heading to the Tower Fanatics, right? Let's uh, let's see how many people we got. So we're missing Locke. We need to get him. Let me turn my game audio up for you guys. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Right, this music here, right, building up the swell, the airship, boom, right, full sail, baby, full sail.
Is this the Tower of Fanatics? I screwed that up, didn't I? All right, let's reset it. We'll rerun that cartridge. Okay, that's where lock is. All right. <laughs> really? Someone played it for morning announcements? Right on. Good for them. They deserve a high five for that one. I'm going to learn this on the base, you guys, and I'm going to play it for you. You guys ready for that shit? I got my fretless base over here. That's what this is all played on. Here's the Fanatics Tower. How do I get him? Do you remember? This music's creepy. Need realm. Figures. Koval, what's up? Good to see you. There we go. Yeah, we don't have many more to go. And then we're going to start. Um, I mean, we're going to grind out some more levels. We need to. We need to. What's up, Logic? I should take Mog into the, the Tower Fanatics. Yeah, that way I don't have to have any encounters. I'll just use that Moogle charm and climb my way to the top. <laughs> Right, a gem box, right? The X-Magic. But we already got a few of those. I mean, the Tower Fanatics is a cool area. Like, without without what we have going on, Tower Fanatics is tough. Logic, good to see you, man. Logic, it looks like this is your first time here. So, I love Realms music, right? So, Logic, uh, my name's Nick, but I go by Slap Artist. And I stream retro games using original carts and discs only. No emulation. And we are playing Final Fantasy VI here, our three in the U.S. And I will tell you that we have pumped, we put in a couple codes at the beginning of it to have the Paladine Shield and Illumina right away. I don't have a whole month to grind on this game. I just, I just don't. And now we have codes in here so we get random drops of like every item possible. So we already got some gem boxes. We already got, um, say, economizers, tinnabars, and stuff like that. But it's speeding things up. But we still have to grind levels. We still have to get gold. I don't have any codes in place for that. But I just I just don't have time to... I don't have 80, 90 hours to pump in this game. Because if you've ever played this game, you know that you can pump in that much time. This game can take a while. Very easily. Vanished Doom works on that dragon. It sounds like Vanished Doom works on everything except Kafka. The rods are well. Shadow Lady was saying that too. Like, hey, um, buy more rods. Bless your little heart, realm. Bless your little heart. Oh, the grinding takes forever. Usually takes you to 15 to 18 hours, depending on the grinds. I haven't played this game in over 10 years, so it's definitely... It takes me some time, but here's the thing about it as well. When people... 
if you're streaming a game like this, you got to think that if it takes you an hour to beat a game, depending on the game, you got to, I tack it like three times the amount when you stream because you have talking, interaction, chatting, and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't remember where everything is, and I've been asked to play this game for... I've been asked to stream it for about a year and a half. And I'm glad I'm doing it now. Now's a good time to be doing it. Because there's a lot of hype revolving around it, and people are really excited. And see... I'm literally debating on streaming another role play an RPG right after this. And I'm a huge fan of Breath of... Uh, I almost said Breath of the Wild, but Breath of Fire. Ori in the Blind Forest. All right, everybody. Um, now we got to go get somebody else. We should probably go get Cyan, right? Yeah, we can go get Locke. I'm fine with that. So was Locke back over here? Where was he? Where is Locke? Is Locke here? I'll have to look into that. I will. I'll, I'll take a peek on that. Logic, I have a fantastic, I have a fantastic YouTube page. If you're, if you're into YouTube, um, like I said, I, I stream retro, like NES, SNES, Sega, Sega CD, PS1, PS2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy 64. Um, and over on YouTube, I have all those listed out. Uh, they're all organized by console, which is, a, I renamed the playlists. But check it out. I think you might like it. There's about 340, 350 retro streams over there, and 50 are queued up, ready to be announced live. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta fight in. I gotta navigate in to get him right. Yeah, I like breath. Um, breath of Fire is good. I really enjoy Breath of Fire as well. Oh, shit, shit, before we do this, what was it, um... Who was saying that I can use, I can learn, uh, what is it, white lore, or white, it's the white magic from the peddlers over on the beach, is that what it was? But they're, they don't have enough MP to cast it, so you have to use realm to sketch it? Is that what we were discussing last night? On the solitary island? Watch me hit doom gaze here. Oh, I'd be devastated. White wind. It was, it was white wind, wasn't it? Peepers is a peeper. Okay, well that didn't work. Somebody said to confuse them. 
No, Logic, I, I don't believe I have all the Espers yet. No, I'm missing some. I'm missing eight of them. Jesus. Hey, Rocksteady. I'm hanging in there, man. I'm doing good. I was just grabbing a couple... I was just grabbing this lore before I forget. Um, uh, that's all I'm doing right now is just grabbing um, this lore because I, I didn't do it last night. And then after this, we're going to get locked. And we were we were grinding over in the Dino Forest. And we'll, we'll go back to that and grind here once we get um, some more characters. I'm glad you've had a lot of fun with it, right? There's some people in here that know this game like the back of their hands. You know, they... So that control didn't work. You have to be up at 7 tomorrow. Go find Locke, and I'll check out some info on White Wind. Dennis, good to see you, man. Hopefully things are going well. I'm looking for Confuse. Do I not have it yet? No. I gotta learn. I have a lot of magic left to learn. And we'll be doing that in the Dino Forest. Didn't I have Muddle? All right, let's try that. No, well, that's the one I did not want to get. Yeah, and these things aren't that strong, you know, so the, the peeper or whatever they are, they're not very strong, you know, they're... I hope you guys know that you can also steal um, me mega elixirs from some of those horseshoe crabs. I think it might be in this area. Um, the dino forest, the, the rhinos, I think, give you five, and the brachiosaurs give you ten. Um, I, I mean, I was getting a little bit on the floating continent before we beat it. Unless you know someplace else, Logic, that would be better to grind for MP and XP. Peeper. God damn it, really? Snow muffler. I mean, White Wind's OP. Did 
The town just north of me has good XP. What is the town? Desert area just south of Miranda. That's actually what um, uh, Shadow's Lady is saying. I can sketch a sprinter. You're saying I can sketch a sprinter for White Wind? Goddamn cactars. That's right. These guys are fun, aren't they? Forgot about the cactars. I don't think I have anything equipped on Strago. That's why that's why he got his ass kicked. Oh shit. I didn't have anything on Strago. I'm not gonna use him much, but if I can get white wind on him, then maybe I will. Right. That's what we were doing last night. We were doing the Vanish and um, Death. I could do them on those guys, too. Could I not? I guess right now we're looking for runners. Is that what it is? Holy shit, 20,000? Damn! That was good. That was good. I like that. I don't think money is going to be an issue now. Not the saying that it was, but... Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. 
Yeah, you've been saying it for a while. I mean, that, and I feel like that was a hell of a lot easier than the dinos. We'll throw some X magic on her. Do they require the sniper sight? Okay, thank you for telling me about that. We'll get that equipped and we have those relics. I bet it does. I don't have, these people that I have don't have them all. Shit, these guys are gonna die. Unless she, she should kill him nine. There we go. I mean, since I'm looking for this, I might as well might as well give them an Esper, right? There's white wind right there. Let's learn it. I just had a ribbon and economizer on him. I mean, we could put a Genji glove on him, but I mean, I'd put the, I'd rather put the Genji glove on, um, because he he knows Ultima, so. You think the earrings are hero ring? Let's do it. We'll keep the economizer on him. Oh, was it Whirlwind? Oh, okay. I figured White Wind, White Wind is like OP though. Oh yeah, let's do Starlet, Jesus. All right. So can I fight these? I'm, I'm looking for White Wind. I'm not looking here to farm these guys quite yet. Can I get runners here? Is this where you're saying I can get runners? Like, that's our goal right now, is to get White Wind. Okay, where are the sprinters? That's what I want. I don't want these things here. I want sprinters. That's my, that's my goal right now. So let's find where they are. Various islands. God.
I think the best thing to do is keep trying those peepers. You know, I think there's one three and uh, a, a third of a chance for a peeper to attack with white wind. So I think we're going to stay there. It's a guaranteed guy, you know. Oh yeah, isn't that great? And it re and it gets rid of all ailments too, right? It store restores all ailments. But these things die, like, immediately. It's good to farm the Cursed Shield here, right? Because it's so easy. I do have a lot of weapons. Like I said, I'm, I got some codes and they give me just all the good drops. I got good weapons to throw. <laughs> I got a lot. Yeah, we picked up Shadow already. screwed up by that didn't I? run yeah we already picked up shadow Oh, it only restores HP. Ooh, peepers. Oh, jeez, he just looked at me and died. Ow! All right. Well, let's stay off there. Let's see if we can find more of them in this area. That was three of them. I'd rather fight three than two. Oh my god, these things just drive me crazy. Any advice on getting them to cast this shit? Anybody? Going once? Going twice? Anybody? They die right after that.
9. Just look at me and die. I'm dead. Oh, there it is. They don't have enough to ha they don't they don't have enough MP to cast it. I knew that. I knew that. All right, help me out here people. I could throw a tincture on him, right? But shit, that'll probably kill him too. So, whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying in Final Fantasy... So after some more research, White Wind has no effect on status. Okay, that's fine. It's still a good lore. And I want it. I don't know what scanning them says. I think they have like one at one hit point or two hit points. They don't have a lot. They literally have nothing. And they die. They have one hit point, 19 magic points. We might need to get goo, you know.
All right, well, let's just move on a little bit. Okay. We're done with that. Let's go get Locke. have to make a party up, but in case I run into Doom Gaze, I need to be ready for it. Let's just do this. Right? We'll throw, um, spam pearl rods on Doom Gaze. Uh, you can learn it from those people. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out another way to get white wind. But, I mean, I'm thinking I can run Mog here with the Moogle Charm and not even get attacked on one character. And then the other ones would just be my A-team. They're in Thasma? I love Mog. Where are you? Where am I? Where am I at? What's the place called again? Fanatics Tower. Or not the not the Fanatics Tower, what? Um Phoenix Cave, right? That's where this is where Locke is in the Phoenix Cave. Ugh, the Phoenix Cave. This place is a bitch, if I remember right.
but we can get a dragon horn here, which we won't need it. So we're just going to go straight to get lock, okay? I mean, is there any good lore here that I can I can get? Can he not get... get oh, running... I need sprint shoes. What the hell am I thinking? There we go. So you're saying there is some good lore here. Okay. Probably should have put Strago in another group, but you know what? It is what it is. Who should go first, A team or Mog? All right, Logic, we're going to head to Thasma after this. He needs to learn some magic. None of these guys, like, know any magic. <laughs> They're so fucked. Yeah, we gotta, we're gonna be farming here soon. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. You know, you're fine. Go cook some food. Go take what you got to take care of. We're here. Don't you love that Moogle charm? Hell yeah! I think I got a few smoke bombs. I don't think I got a lot of them. Let me ask you this. Can I can I come back in here after I beat this area? Or is this like game over? From this area. Because if there are some good lores in here, I'm not going to get them now. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have to come back in with uh, Strago again. Shadow Lady might know that.
it's nice when everybody knows Ultima, isn't it? Oh, you don't own it yet. Or know it yet. You need to get it. Excuse me. That's empty. There's nothing in that. Missed a tile. Yeah, we'll use a few of those, right? I need to buy some more now. Come on, Terra. Get your ass out of here. There is, isn't there? There is a relic that increases that preemptive attack. I really should equip that now. That's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. Good call, Logic. Like I said, I haven't played this game in forever. Like, you know, I think the last time I played it was the Game Boy Advance version, and that was probably back in 2000. Shit, it was probably in 2007 since I last played this. Yeah, seven or eight. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Get your glove, ribbon, hero ring, economizer, sprint shoes, economizer, um, whatever. Yeah, feel free that you can help out in this channel, man. That's fine. I don't mind backseat driving. I mean, especially in, a, in such a large game like this, don't bother me. <laughs> Everybody has like Illuminas. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I get crazy draw. I got codes in here. Um, again, Logic, I'm playing my original cart. So that's the big thing about my channel. It's carts and discs I don't emulate. And I got some codes in that will give me uh, 
every item possible, like as, as a as a random drop. So I think everybody has like their best best stuff they can have. So those people have Illumina equipped, and you know it casts Pearl on occasion. Actually, we're going to we're going to take the Genji glove off of him. Yeah, Illumina. I remember getting Illumina in my original, you know, when I first played it back in the 90s. It's an OP weapon, but it takes magic points to use. So you got to you, your mind points, you got to make sure that you have enough on there. Or if you're not ready for that, you'll end up getting someplace and be like, Jesus, like, why are my mind points down? Because of that. So we're going to, and the Paladin Shield, we're going to equip it on Edgar because he doesn't know Ultima. And we are going to um, get him to learn that. And then on the other hand, we're going to put cells on a Genji Glove and give her two Illumina. <laughs> yeah! See, I already got Atma, Illumina, Ragnarok, and I shouldn't even have these. I shouldn't have them. But we started with Paladin and Illumina, and as I play the game and I get these crazy drops, I will pick up a Ragnarok. Like, I shouldn't have that. But again, logic, the thing is, the logic to this is that I don't, I don't want to play it for 80 hours. I just don't. So we're playing it for people to go through, help me reminisce a little bit. That's the really big thing about this channel is that we play these retro games because we love them, you know, and it's, I grew up with them and we want people to relive those memories. But as a streamer, I think it's incredibly boring to watch somebody grind out for 80 hours. You know, that's no offense. We can just fight these people straight up because we're just going to beat the piss out of them. Yeah, not even a fight. But we're having fun. And we're moving along quickly. So there's a ribbon in here, but we're not going to have to get it. We won't need the ribbon. And a lot of these are empty. I mean, they're just teasers.
All right, Tara. Tara learned something that looked like Doom. Let's go see what the hell this does. I mean, hey, yeah, Connor, this this is a tough game. You know, when you really got to put some time into it, and there's so much involved in this game. It can be overwhelming. This game is overwhelming. I mean, the shit that I'm relearning from everybody that's helping me stream this blows my mind. We got a dragon here. And that's it. Should be dead. <laughs> it's such a cheap move, isn't it? Such a cheap move. <laughs> People are like WTF, right? It's a dragon horn. Dragon horn. I did slay that dragon with the cheap move that's been patched. That move has since been patched. Um, for uh, future games, for future Final Fantasy threes. Um, as they were, you know, I don't ever remember doing a lot of that. Maybe I, I, but like I guess I haven't played this game in over a decade. Um, use Vanish on an enemy and then use Doom on it and it's an insta-kill. And you can do that on anybody except Kefka. And, like, that's a great way to farm. Now I'm kind of a little confused, so where do I need to go? Oh, it, it's game breaking, you know, but here's the best part about this. To the left with Mog, thank you, Logic. Is that when you bought games like this, this is what you got. There were no hot fixes. There were no patches. This was the game. This this was it, man. This this was how you got it. And you know what? 
I think it makes it fun that way. You know, I mean, it, it it's game breaking, but it's the way it was. You know, it's it's I don't know. I don't know. There there is no like as I said last night, there's no like burger and you don't want fries with that. You want a soda, let's supersize it. It costs money. You get the whole meal. Get the whole freaking meal. And that's lovely. And it's what people find out. To the left with Mog. All right, we'll go to the left with Mog here. Oh, those came up from the other area, didn't they? Did they or didn't they? Oh, I got I got a bounce across them. There we go. Thank you, Logic. I appreciate that. I just, I was like, where? I always remember the Esper Cave being very difficult. trying to bring Rachel back to life, right? You guys remember that, that his girlfriend died. Of course he'll come with us. What the hell else is he going to do? Good music, man. I have this soundtrack for the North American version. Um, the North America, the North American sound. So here's the thing: is when this game came out, which was great, um, in '94, you didn't have iTunes. You couldn't listen to this shit just on iTunes. You actually, you know, you had to buy the soundtrack. And I remember buying the Kefka's Domain soundtrack, uh, three disc set, man, and it's just an epic soundtrack. What's up, Prolly? Thanks for jumping into the into the stream. I really do appreciate it. Um, this looks like your, it's your first time here. So let, let me just introduce a little bit. My name's Nick, but I go by Slap Artist, and I stream retro games using original carts and discs. There's no emulation on my channel. We're using the original games that I've 
was born and uh, not born but grew up with um being born in 81 i feel like i saw the heyday of nintendo you know as a little kid and uh there's that 95 percent that i stream retro there's that five percent chance that i'll stream like a new resident evil because i'm a huge resident evil fan all right i got a ps5 sitting right here and i stream the new demon souls because i spent a semester of grad school playing that game um but everything's pretty much retro we do have a fantastic YouTube channel with over 340 retro streams, 50 are queued up, ready to go live. I do have a Twitter account. We have an awesome Discord if you guys, both of you, Logic and probably would like to join this. Um, it's a fun Discord. If you guys stream yourself, you're allowed to promote your channel on that uh, Discord. And as always, I ask that you continue to show your support by following, sharing, subscribing, or donating to the channel. This is my full-time job, man. This is it. You know, I'm a denied tenure, fired former professor from a university that's failing. <laughs> that's that's what I do. Logic, thank you. You had this on the Super Nintendo, was confused when I looked for FF3 later on. You know, it's... In... It's Final Fantasy 3 in North America, Final Fantasy 6 everywhere else. And I changed the stream to say Final Fantasy 6 because that's what a lot of people know it as and people get upset if you say Final Fantasy 3 and <laughs> I feel it's, it's like that purist thing. It's three to me, you know, but it's it's amazing. Yeah, this game takes me back to being in junior high. I was at seventh, eighth grade when this was when I was playing this. And the story this is why we're playing this because of the story and the music. They say you always remember your first, right? <laughs> That's bad to say. But, um, yeah, man. This, you know, is a bit... Hey, probably thank you for that follow. I do appreciate that. Super hype, man. Thank you for that support. Um, right, this was probably the first big... Actually, you know, I watched... Um, no, that's not true. You know, I mean, I'm a huge uh, Final Fantasy fan. Uh, well, this one, but I grew up playing the original and if you can see some of the pixel art in the background here this is hand painted pixel art my buddy does it for me that's my party in in final fantasy for the nes so on my youtube channel i have a fantastic uh full playthrough in one uh, i actually it's in two pieces i started nes and the nes version of final fantasy one night for about two or three hours and then the next day i did it for over 12 hours but i had to put i had to condense it to 12 there's a 12 hour stream there of me beating final fantasy in like pretty much one sitting and that's my party that I go with. And there's Warmech, and I think Warmech's the hardest character in that game. But I think that would be my first RPG that I got into. You know, and as these games got better and Super Nintendo came out, I think this is the one that I fell in love with. I love the original NES version of it, but it just doesn't have the layers this one does. This is sad for Locke. You know, this is his last chance to speak to Rachel. You know, she died. Um, she lo lost her memory. She was in love with them, fell, lost her memory. They shooed Locke away from the village, only to have it stormed by the Empire, I think it was. She was killed, and he had this doctor kind of preserve her body with herbs and stuff, and now he's trying to bring her back to life with the Phoenix, and they only got a couple minutes left. Very sad. And that's it.
pretty much telling him to let go of that hate and guilt. Oh yeah, this game, this just game has layers, man. So many layers. You ship Locke and Terramore anyways. I don't know what you mean by that. That's heartbreaking. But he also loves cells. You know, because he saves cells. Right. All right, Locke. I like Locke. I like Locke a lot. I like Locke a lot. X-Potion, Phoenix Down, X-Ether, Elixir, Flame Shield. This is what I stole. <laughs> the treasure the Phoenix gave. We do have an appointment with Kepka. You goddamn right we do. Ugh, you are slow. She's just mad to you. Yeah, I mean, not every. Yeah. She's not the best. What the hell are you doing? Give life a chance, cells. Damn. All right. Who do we go get next? The Ragnarok, Esper, and Narshi. Okay. Sounds like it's it, man. Let's go do it, Logic. I'm down for that. Mm. 
That's all right, young daddy. God damn it, where are my where are my sprint shoes at? Oh yeah, let's go do uh, go go. Yeah, let's. I think that's a good idea. Is there some place? I don't remember. Is there some place on the Falcon I can get my life back all the way? Yeah, we can try to fight Doom Gaze. I like Shadow. I don't remember if there's something on there. Um, we got Ragnarok. Where's, uh, we can find Gogo -Go quick. Shit. We have Sign we have to get, too. Where is Gogo? -Go? Is Gogo -Go here? Yeah, he's on the Triangle Island. This is definitely it. Yeah, 
We gotta fight a zone eater. I remember that. There we go. Munch, munch, munch. Oh yeah, this game this game has amazing stories. Red jacket! Already got one. Inside the belly of the beast. Ah, really? Ah damn it. Do I have the ribbon on him? Fishing for shit, and I probably shouldn't. Ah, that's where you get the fake mustachio. Mustachio. I don't really need anything. Now I push left. Oh, let's leave. Ah, 
Oh, damn it! God, really? Son of a... I know better. I'm rushing it. Should have brought Mog with me. I'm just going to start bringing Mog everywhere. It's a warp puck. Ugh, God, look at that thing. WTF, huh? So, Logic, are you still... I don't know if Logic's still here. He might have bounced. Um, but I was going to ask, what's your favorite Final Fantasy VI character? Everybody has a favorite, right? Shadow? Um... <laughs> you couldn't get out alive? Oh, that's miserable. I'm sorry. A lot of people love Shadow, and I'm a Mog fan. I've always loved that quirky little bastard. And, um, you know, I don't really use him that much. I mean, he's not, what, he's not the strongest character, for sure, you know. He's very underrated, I think, but I love Mog. I got a great Final Fantasy VI t-shirt with Mog on it. I need to go find that. Yeah, your party is always uh, Setzer, Goo, Cyan, and somebody else. And you know, I I like to pick the Figaro brothers. I think they're I think they're the best combo you can get. The Figaro brothers, obviously, Terra's amazing, and then it's an up, you know, it's a swing between like Locke and you know maybe somebody else. No, you need in speedrunners. You have to have Mog. You have to have Mog. Because you ain't going anywhere without Mog. Zephyr! And it's, it's tough to pull off a blitz sometimes. It really, you know, at the time you need it, it can really screw you over. I concur.
I, I don't know if I've ever did a two-player mode. Enlighten me. What is that? Oh, shit. I missed that. I don't need whatever's in these chests. I really don't. Is this a man? A woman? Or should we even ask? Go, go. What an unusual tale. <laughs> I'll tell you in two seconds. Can you use a warp stone? Our magic? Bye-bye. All right, we got Go-Go. Go go magic arms, baby. Go go gadget arms. Should we fly around for a little bit and see if we can, um,. Get a, get a Doom Gaze fight? You didn't know you could warp out of that? I <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Let's see if we can get a... Um, I don't know if I have any pearl rods. Sure, I have a few. I got two of them. Can't buy them, can you? But I mean, um, I don't know if I have any espers that cast pearl. Illumina cast pearl.
All right, we got to we got to get signed. We have to beat Doma Castle, right, to get Alexander, right? Thunderfoot, thank you for that sub, man. I, I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Can I steal anything from Doomgaze? doesn't have really any magic like he doesn't have a lot of good magic you know I I haven't farmed a lot of that so Edgar has Ultima she has Ultima <laughs> we'll go gem box it baby let's see who all has Ultima And he's close to learning it. All right. Shadow Lady, you still here? like feel like I should get Ultima for the other character feel like we need to farm a little bit let's get off maybe level let's see if we have any levels divisible by five 45 yeah right away Edgar's going to get into 45. Well, you know what? Okay, let's just go back to the gem box. Let's just... Whatever. I just need Edgar to get that. Sniper sights for Cactors. Thank you.
Spoonie, how are you? All right, let's see if we can get a Cactor. Um, how many does? How much does a Cactor give? You said ten. Cactrot. Can Ultima hit him? doesn't have a sniper sight equipped and she was able to hit her with that magic no problem does somebody need to have it Going Phoenix for her. I think having life and some high life would be good for um, Locke doesn't have it. Saban does. Really? Why will the Atma weapon kill him in one hit and drills will kill him in one hit as well? That's pretty wicked. I keep fighting them. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, right on. Oh, yeah, 10 magic points. That's getting pretty good. Yeah. Farming cat drops. Ooh, let's save it. Just in case shit happens. I think getting Phoenix up is a good thing. that speeding shit up give me five yeah buddy just go buy me a lottery ticket huh Yeah! 
I keep giving them to me, baby. Now we're cooking. She's gonna learn Phoenix no problem. In no time. I guess it was only a matter of time, right? How <laughs> oh, this never happens. I don't know. Here's the beauty part about playing original carts, right? Hell yeah! Look at that. Yeah, moving espers through there fast. Just need life three now. Give me another Cactra. 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 This is way faster than farming dinos. percent on Ultima already? Shit, we're gonna cycle that through everybody. Everybody's gonna know Ultima by the time I'm done. No, I, I don't... Dude, I'm getting 10,000 here and mad... I, I don't know what... I didn't see what the XP was in this area. Um, But I'm getting what I want. I'm getting more of what I want. I guess I'll have to see it here in a second. Yeah, no XP from him. That's fine. I'll take magic points. <laughs> That's good by... That's fine by me. You know? I just need people... I need to farm espers and spells for about everybody. That was gold. 10,000 gold for a Cactroc.
close. I'll be right back, everybody. Shadow Lady will entertain you for the moment being. Um, give me one second. I'll leave this audio up for you guys to enjoy it, okay?
Oh, do I? Did I miss that? I missed the confetti? I must have missed that. I'm sorry. Like, I know you guys can do that stuff. You can cheer and do that, and I must have missed it. There you go. We learned Ultima right away. Done. There it is, life three. What's up, bro? Good to see you. anything important always always let's see if this legs out again weird yeah I noticed that I gotta figure that out anyway for the evening guys I'm gonna call it a night it's midnight I'm kind of tired I've had a long day um, now that we kind of got some cack some cack trots kind of in a cycle here probably be doing we'll be starting this back up a little earlier tomorrow but we're going to be farming some more cack trots tomorrow because we need to get our guys up for magic um we need to make sure that our characters have you know life cure one cure two cure three especially when we start heading into kefka's tower that's going to be really important you know so yeah we're going to call it a night and Yeah, I think it'll be good. You know, but I'd like to thank everybody for jumping in and watching tonight. I really do appreciate it, especially some of the new followers that we have here. 4 a.m. there, Jesus. That is late. Definitely later than I'd want to be staying up. You know?
We're gonna get somebody a raid here, some random guy playing Tomb Raider. Um, I think he'll, I think, well, what's, wait, wait. Yeah, he has, this guy has one person watching him. He's been playing for five hours. Let's give him a raid. I think you'll appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, check out my YouTube channel. We've got a lot of retro streams over there. We have a fantastic Twitter page and even better Discord. And as always, please continue to watch. Um, uh, continue to show your support by following, sharing, subscribing, or donating to the channel. All of that goes into preserving this. Everybody, have a great night. Thank you for watching. And I'll see everyone back here tomorrow. We're going to give this guy a raid. Stick around. Give him some numbers for a minute. Then you guys can bounce. Stay safe, everybody.